Welcome to our Cambridge IGCSE Biology series. We're starting with the very first topic, characteristics and classifications of living organisms. In this video we will focus on 1.1, characteristics of living organisms. Before we get started, here's a little pointer. Although this video is tailored to the Cambridge IGCSE 0610 format, and is applicable for both, the A star to C, and the 9 to 1 level, if you are studying Pearson at Excel, or Oxford AQA, you can still use this video to understand the concept. However, it is advisable to cross-check with your syllabus just to be sure. So without further ado, here we go. By the end of this video, you should be able to List, the characteristics of living organisms Describe, the characteristics of living organisms Understand, how to identify a characteristic of a living organism Okay, so first things first all living things share seven essential characteristics of life. Whether it's a tiny bacterium, a towering tree, a cute puppy, or a human being. Let's take a closer look at each one of these. Movement is an action by an organism, or part of an organism, causing a change of position or place. Respiration is the chemical reactions in cells that break down nutrient molecules and release energy for metabolism. Sensitivity is the ability to detect and respond to changes in the internal or external environment. Growth is a permanent increase in size and dry mass. Reproduction is the process that makes more of the same kind of organism. Excretion is the removal of the waste products of metabolism and substances in excess of requirements. Nutrition is the taking in of materials for energy, growth and development. That's a lot to remember, but here's a simple trick. To make it easier for you, we use the mnemonic, Mrs. Grin. Each of these letters stand for one of the characteristics of living organisms. M for movement, R for respiration, S for sensitivity, G for growth, R for reproduction, E for excretion, N for nutrition. Just remember. Mrs. Grin, keeps living things alive. Next up. We cover 1.2 concept and uses of classification systems. If you found this helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more IGCSE biology content. See you in the next video.